Hello and welcome back to Medieval Part 5. We of course have another chalice and so another weapon. She's lovely, isn't she? The crossbow. Yeah, well, he didn't give much of a description, but I guess we don't need one. It's a crossbow. Uh, what more do you want to know? Surprisingly, though, the crossbow is actually... Uh, the rate of fire on it is incredible, and... Uh, yeah, it's so much better than the pistol. It's a pretty epic. To tell you, I've analysed the watch you found, and I think I know who is behind this madness. Who? Oh. The name of our enemy is Lord Palethorn. He tried to gain respectability by joining the magician's circle, but they expelled him after he began to experiment with black magic. Frightful, frightful man. As far as we can see, the whole city has fallen under his wicked spell. Every dead soul in London is walking the streets, and a host of other demons have arrived to plague us. Here we go again. Not all bad news, though. This young... this lady is none other than Kia, 91st consort of Ramesses himself. I've been doing a little reading, and let me tell you, you might feel old, but she's positively ancient. No offense. You I guess Ramesses was into Smurfs. From my eternal prison? Great warrior, I salute thee. I am forever in your debt. Right, introduction's over. <laughs> the show. <laughs> Fail. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the uh, crossbow is much better than the pistol. Credit. You'd think it'd be the Winston's other way around, but no. He says he saw something weird going on at the observatory. If Palethorn's behind it, he must be stopped. So we are off to Greenwich Observatory. If you're English, you've probably heard of it. If you haven't, then you probably... Probably should know more about your country. But at the same time, if you're not from England, I guess I wouldn't blame you if you had never heard of it. Oh my god. Son of a... <clears throat> well, there goes my head. This is quite a, an interesting game mechanic they introduced now. F off, zombie. Eat hammer of Thor. Switch between head and body using L1 plus triangle. If you find your head, L1 plus triangle will put it back on. Plenty of zombies around here. But there seems to be like sailors or something. Anyway, we can switch between our head and our body. There we go, I can see where my head is now. And you can rotate the camera to kind of see where it is. I have absolutely no idea where this is though, but I'm, I'm sure it will become obvious at some point, hopefully. So I guess our first uh, business point is to go and try and get our head back. Oh wow, thanks for interrupting me there, you little bastard. The hammer is so good though for like hit and run, because you can just run away from the stuff and still do damage with the shockwaves. It's so good. If you're watching this from a Norse territory, then yeah, don't worry. The, the hammer may not look like much, but it was done proud. It's it's so good. What the hell is that that I'm aiming at? Oh, a bird. Yeah, take that, you stupid bird. Taking my head. Oh, it's that annoying ghost. I can hardly wait to hear what he Dane, has to say. I've looked around. There's something going on in the observatory, but the entrance is barred. Perhaps you can find another way of getting in. Go and see what's across the river. Hmm, a ladder. Oh. Okay, this is where my head was. Time to kill this bird, I guess. Or I can just miss it entirely with the hammer. Crossbow's pretty good at it though. The rate of fire on it is so good. The damage is better than the pistol. It's just it's so much better than the pistol. Sorry, pistol. Gunpowder, so overrated. Ow. Wow, I have surprisingly low health, I have to admit. That's my last life bottle used. I guess I should well, after that phone information should still uh, make that a bit kinder, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's much better. You can see just above the health bar I'm getting filled, and yeah, now I'm almost at full health, that's pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty safe. 
I guess we should look over this way again, seeing as I didn't go very far over there. More zombies. Well, I'm nearly at 50% or oh, explosive. I guess I'll round up the zombies and make them follow me. Come on, zombies. Cool, yeah, over 50% of the chalice already. Blimey, that's that was quick. I wonder if this level's really short or something. Well, I'm not going to complain. The Hammer of Thor. Oh, jeez. Well, would you look at that? It's some kind of alien life form that takes over dead bodies and, like, uses their body as their own. Am I the only one thinking head crabs here? I do wonder. I wonder which one came first. Did Medieval come first? Or did... Half-Life. Who's the rip-off here? You might be interested to know, though, that there, uh, fortunately, oh, die, you should zombie. You can use the uh, the hammer, at least. I don't think you can do it with any other weapon, but the hammer, because it hits the ground in front of you. You can actually use it to, like, kill the zombie corpses on the floor, or at least, like, you well, not kill them. They're zombies. <laughs> But you know what I mean, like split the zombie corpses, well, smash them into pieces so they can't be possessed. Which, you know, Gordon Freeman maybe, maybe should have thought of that. Maybe he should have thought of that. Well, anyway. Onwards we go. They're not very high HP, but they're kind of annoying to hit those little ladies. So speaking of which, there's one. Oh, okay. Charged Hammer of Thor works pretty well. Oh no! Oh, and there goes my head. God damn it, where's my head? Ugh. Oh, that's irritating. Um. Where the hell is this? Oh, is this. It's back on the roof where I was just a minute ago. Okay, cool. That won't take long to get to then. Up here somewhere. Um, where was it? You might be wondering why it's such a big deal whether you have your head or not, but um, I do remember specifically from uh, this level that you actually needed your head. Where, where the hell was this? Oh, I've gone past it, duh. It's just next to the ladder. Fail. Um, yeah, there, there we go, there it is. That was fail. Anyway, thank you very much, Head. Let's try this again. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you, you definitely need your head at some point here. I don't remember when though. Oh no, no, no! Oh my god, I just lost my head again. Oh, same place. That die issue, the bird. You've taken enough head from Dan Fortescue. I've given you enough head. Are you not satisfied yet? I I'm not going to continue with that, don't worry. I'm not that wrong. Anyway, now that we've been... Now that we've received head... Yeah, I said I wasn't going to continue with it, but I'm really not going to now. Now that we have our head back... Let's carry on. And that bird is stupid dead. Ah, oh, no, it's one of them. You'll probably be uh, interested, not surprised, maybe, to hear. Oh, pistol ammo? Pistol ammo? And crossbow. What a surprise. No, thank you, my friend. Oh, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I guess I'll buy some crossbow ammo. Anyway, uh. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, those, like, little alien things. If you lose your head, they can possess you. Which is kind of annoying, because you can't control your actions and just kind of spaz out and have to mash buttons to try and escape or whatever. Uh, what is down here? Other than enemies. There seems to be quite a lot of enemies, I've got to say. Anything? My hammer's ready. I am the hammer of justice. Oh my god. 
bastard into a sell a hook. Take that, zombies. Take that. Yay, we can get the chalice. New weapon. Oh, there's a zombie. Yeah, take that. Um, well, I guess down here isn't where you're meant to go. There is a ladder out of here, so I guess I'm not surprised. I swear you could do something with those hands. There's some more hands there. What the hell are they doing? What, what could you do? I can't remember. I am irritated. Oh, well, I guess I should check in there. Oh, there's a chalice. Uh, how do I get over there? Oh, a life bottle. Cool. Yay, now we have three. They're pretty epic. I guess we should go in here. So there's going to be something to do in here. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this. Is this... Let's speak to the ghost. Them birds pesky, aren't they? See if you can use your head to solve this puzzle. It should work like any other item in your inventory. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. You have to go and put your head in here. This is why you needed your head, and why if the birds take it, it's bad, because you need it to solve this puzzle. Um, now, somehow... I can't remember how you did it. Something to do with these switches. I think there's some... <sighs> It was something to do with your head. What the hell was it? Oh yeah, you could you could like look through your head's eyes. There we go. Okay, so I guess we have to put the switches to that particular light level. So that was like three at one, three light level blocks. Um. Oh, okay. I guess the fourth one was already right. Well, I'm not going to complain. Cool, let's do this. We have retrieved our head and we're ready to go. Oh, whoops, fail. You know, I can't help but feel that this gives a bad representation of Greenwich Observatory. I know someone who lives in Greenwich and it's a, it's a fine place, tr trust me. There's not like ruined boats everywhere or anything. Nor are there random chalices filled with lost souls. It's more of an, uh, an Essex kind of thing. Well, now we have a new weapon. Yay! Um, what to do now? I guess over there somehow. But how on earth am I going to get over there? Um. This doesn't seem quite right. What am I meant to do? I am confused. Um, I don't know. How do I get over there? Some, something to do with here, surely. I mean, I just lowered that drawbridge. Herp a derp. Was it something to do with that, like? plank of wood down at the bottom, I think. Oh, wow, there's a lever there and I didn't even notice. Oh my god. Oh, that was pretty tragic. Okay, let, let's pretend that didn't happen, shall we? I, I totally knew that was exactly what you had to do and I didn't, like, completely run past it and not notice it, okay? Okay, cool. Got quite a jump you have to make here. No. And by make it, I mean don't do that. I guess we have to use the uh, <coughs> the daring dash, as the ghost put it. Let's get over there. Let's try that one again. Uh, yeah, at least this time I don't have to be defeated by like the lever boss or something. I just got to make a pro jump, but I can do that. <coughs> Well, so here we go. Ready? Pro Dan jump. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, I guess we'll just have a look down here. Anything? No. No. Oh well. Up here. Oh, there's, a, there's an exploding chest, but other than that, I do not know. Die. Oh wow, it doesn't kill them if they're already on a friggin' zombie. That's kind of annoying. 
Oh, that was wasted. Oh, no. My health. So much health lost. Ow. 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 Die. Must hammer bug creature things. Eat hammer for. Wow. Stop it. Die. There we go. There is no problem you can't mash your way out of. <laughs> well, I guess that's uh, all that's here. Oh, that annoying ghost again. I can hardly wait to hear his annoying tones. Once through this door, there's no going back, Dane. So you probably want to make sure that you got the chalice. It's cool, ghost. I got the chalice. And so, I guess that's the end of this part of the level. I'll see you next time, guys, for the Greenwich Naval Academy. See ya.